What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uniform review video. All right, so we're gonna be moving on to uh, Ebony Ma's new uniform. So here we have his Infinity War uniform. And yeah, he's looking just as ugly as he did in the movie. Uh, so yeah, good work on the uniform there. He looks exactly the same, but um, we're not judging the uniform on its actual appearance. We're judging it on its skill effects. So let's go ahead and see what actually gets changed around here. So the uniform bonus itself is very nice, actually. I like this uniform bonus because it does apply to all allies, not just himself. So that's very nice. And it's going to be a 25% decrease to damage received and a 25% increase to damage dealt to universal type characters. That's all universal types. So that's really, really nice. Uh, definitely going to make him a strong kind of support character. And because he has his own self-buffing leadership, you can kind of pair him with uh, another damage boost character like uh, Shiri or um yeah, valkyrie that's the other one i'm trying to think of that was for everybody and uh, kind of boost his damage up really high against universal characters um which would be good for world boss ultimate because of course so far we only have universal super villains uh to deal with and yeah so let's go ahead and check out these skill changes here so i don't have anything there don't have anything there um and here this dark whisper we see a 10 second mind control so that is pretty crazy. Um, I don't remember how long Emma's mind control was, but 10 seconds definitely has to be one of the longest uh, kind of guaranteed, well not guaranteed, but one of the uh, premium uh, crowd control skills that I've seen. So yeah, that's very, very strong right there. So you can kind of keep your enemies tied up for 10 seconds. And what is this on? And it's on an 18 second uh, cooldown. So you're going to be able to use this thing every, um, every, what eight to nine seconds so yeah every nine seconds and it's on 10 seconds so you can pretty much have this up the entire time similar to kind of enchantress's charm if you have her uh leadership to increase the debuff duration you can keep up her charm the entire fight as well and we know how strong that can be um and now we move on to his shadow attack where we have a summon on this skill because i believe the summon has changed skills uh if i'm not mistaken but anyway uh, we have summon illusions for 70% of the summoner stats for 7 seconds. All right. And then no uh, text change for his dark meteor. So let's go ahead and jump into this skill preview here and see what the actual skill changes look like. <clears throat> All right. So here we have his first skill. So he just kind of a teleport and then he shoots up those dark kind of obelisks from the ground there which is pretty cool looking, uh, but it is not a full iframe. It's only an iframe for that initial teleport. And then, uh, yeah, during the actual animation or the casting of the skill, he is going to be vulnerable. But I believe you can cancel it out, but we'll do that in a second. The second skill here is pretty cool as well. It kind of like sucks them in a little bit and then he shoots those uh, little, or I guess those are just rock fragments maybe or meteorite fragments um, at the enemy. So it is a little bit longer animation than his uh, previous second skill, so you do need to keep that in uh, in mind if you're going to be using this against like world boss characters where you can't stun them or crowd control them. Uh, well, you can actually crowd control him with the mind control, which is going to be, I believe it's on the third skill, correct? Yeah, there's the 10 seconds. So yeah, so he gets a nice vortex here, and it is an iframe. So you get the iframe and then you get the mind control. So very nice. So you can kind of guarantee yourself to get this skill off because of that iframe. And then, yeah, as you can see, they have that 10 seconds of mind control on. So a very, very powerful skill. And uh, yeah, it has a little vortex effect as well. So it can kind of group the enemies together uh, so that as soon as the skill's done casting, they will just start attacking each other. So that's really nice. Um, and now we're moving on to the fourth skill where we're going to get our illusions. So there you go. So, yeah, this kind of look like just, like, lingering damage effects, but those are definitely his summons. If we didn't have any um, enemies nearby... Oh, can we just cast it over here? No, we have to actually target someone. Um, well, as you can see there, there's the tag. It says summons, and then it has the countdown right there, um, which is pretty cool because they just linger around and do damage. I'm not sure if they can be uh, targeted or shot... 
Yeah, I don't think they can be, uh, I don't think they can take aggro, so they're pretty much just doing some guaranteed damage there. Yeah, alright. Uh, now we're moving on to the fifth skill, as soon as these guys go away, there we go. So we do have the same kind of meteor barrage going on there, but then boom, we've got this extra kind of meteor that just rolls around the battlefield. Um, I believe it just rolls towards whatever enemy you're initially targeting. Uh, or maybe not, but anyway, um, it's pretty nice because you get some extra damage there from that uh, end meteor and a lot more hits. And of course, it is a full iframe, so that's very nice as well. So yeah, all of the skill changes are looking really nice on his uniform here. Definitely like all of the kind of dark magic effects that are going on. I've always been a real sucker for those kind of animations because they look so cool. So definitely like that. And I believe you can even cancel this skill. You get the initial uniforms, then you go into the fourth skill right there, and boom, you get all of the skills still. Even the end uh, meteor at the uh, the end meteor that just rolls around like that. So you can cancel that skill at any point uh, during the animation, as long as you see the meteor start. Um, and then let's see what else do we want to check? Uh, check this one. Yeah, so you don't get the. So I think you need to. Yeah, you can't really cancel out of the first skill very easily. Yeah, you gotta wait till he does like the initial uh, throw of the kind of obsidian rocks from the ground there, or obsidian crystals. But yeah, we get, it looks like you get all sorts of like AOE going on here, so you just go like this, and go like that. Back into this. Yeah, you can get all sorts of stuff going on with Ebony. Looks like you can cancel most of his skills out and still get all of these skill um, effects and damage and residual damage from them, so that's really nice. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really, really liking the changes to uh, Ebony Maw here. I'm really liking this uniform. Uh, I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. This is definitely one of the standout uniforms uh, from this batch, to me at least. Uh, so, yeah, if you have Ebony Maw built up, I definitely think you should get this uniform. It's very, very uh, strong and looks really nice in terms of both damage and survivability and of course that support uh, for your whole team because it applies to all allies if you're facing any universal character it's going to be uh, very handy so yeah that's going to be my thoughts on Ebony Ma's Infinity War uniform I hope you guys enjoyed and of course I will catch you in the next one